Good morning, Hornets! It's a wonderful Wednesday here at Valley Center High School. We are the hosts, Nadia. And I'm Kayla. Let's start off with today's lunch. Today we have chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, wheat roll, oranges, and milk. Why don't we take a look at today's holidays? Let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day with Josh. My name is Josh Cox, and these are the top five news stories of the day. WWE wrestler Bray Wyatt passes away unexpectedly at age 36. Two, nearly 400 people still missing after deadly Maui fire. Number three, Kansas Humane Society overrun with puppies who need forever homes. Number four, baby copperhead season begins in Kansas as litters begin to hatch. Number five, Frozen corn sold in Kansas recalled over health concerns. Next, here's Wednesday's Word of the Day. Word of the Week. This week's Word of the Week is enumerate. Mention a number of things one by one. What grinds your gears? Let's take a look. I'm Benny, and my biggest pet peeve is people chewing with their mouths open. I'm Sadie, and my biggest pet peeve is my brother. <laughs> I'm Elena, and my biggest pet peeves is when people walk really slow in the hallway. The only thing I would take to a stranded island would be, I think, tacos. T tacos? That's very specific. Well, let's see what other students would bring. Hi, my name is Brent Kinsinger, and today we're asking people what three things would they bring to a desert island. Hi, I'm here with Alec Winslow. What three things would you take to this deserted island? Flares, food, and gas. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm here with Ava. What three things would you bring to a deserted island? A knife, a water bottle, and something to make fire. So, Flint? Or a lighter, or matches, doesn't matter. Okay. Hi, I'm here with Javier. What three things would you bring to a desert island? Machete, a flintstone thingy to make fire, and water jug. Next up, what are you guys looking forward to this year? Hello, my name is Nadia, and today I'm going to ask Cornets what are they excited the most for the school year? Let's go! I'm excited the most for probably dance team and sports. So, can you dance with me? <laughs> Brenna Hollis. Less drama. I'm going to ask your name. Is it Peter Parker? No, it's Avery. I would say I'm excited for uh, just being here in general. To the pose. <laughs> Elliot Madrano, probably the robotics competition. Um, my name is Michaela Lara. I think I'm most excited for wrestling. Wrestling. My name is Kylie Taylor, and I'm probably most excited for new people. Students, if you need any help from your teacher for studying, come to the library after school next Wednesday for after school tutoring. And here's Morgan with her today's weather. I'm Morgan Thatcher and here's your weather for today. The high is going to be 90 and the low is 62. Now for a quick blast to the past, let's wrap up this day in history. Stay classy, VC. August 30th, 1862. During the American Civil War, the Second Battle of Bull Run ends in Manassas, Virginia. Union forces are defeated by the Confederates on the site of the war's first major clash the previous year. 1967. In Washington, the Senate confirms Thurgood Marshall as the first black justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. Years later, Marshall tells students at his alma mater, Howard University, not to rest upon past civil rights achievements. You can't stand still. You must move. And if you don't move, they will run over you. 1983. Guyon Bluford Jr. becomes the first black astronaut in space, blasting off aboard Space Shuttle Challenger. 1797. Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley. 
the novelist who created the horror story Frankenstein, and is born in London. 1905. Baseball's Ty Cobb makes his major league debut with the Detroit Tigers. He hits a double in his first at bat in a game against the New York Highlanders. The Tigers win 5-3. And 1993. If you think about it, all I really did was take the summer off. <laughs> Completing his move from NBC, talk show host David Letterman debuts on CBS with his late show. Today in History, August 30th. Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press.